How did you miss that boy? So today we have another T20 match. Today the outfield is wet. The run up from this side seems good though. This black tape definitely needs to be removed. The other end of the run up was looking good as well. But listen to this. Sappy. So it's time for the toss. What will we decide to do? So it seems as if we won and we're sending them to bat. The outfield is wet but we still decided to go with spin. First ball was a wide. Second ball was still a little bit down the leg but it was better than the first. So we have chase from the other end. We thought this was a missed chance but it was off the pads. This was a good ball but also a good looking shot as well. Not sure how this one missed the wicket but <laughs> good start by Green. This one was almost played onto the stump but good footwork by the batsman. One thing about this team is that they love taking quick singles and we almost got a run out here. Sham came into the attack and this batsman was playing very risky. Next delivery up to him, played all around it. Play straight next time batsman, stay in the V. So new batsman in, first delivery to him. Almost played it into short extra cover. So another spinner into the attack, Dread. First delivery was not that bad. This one was driven back past the bowler and <laughs> they almost got run out. Watch out. Dread continued to do his thing on this hand. Not much action. So new bowler Prittle into the attack. This one was played and they off for another single again. But this time they will be punished. And he got their first run out. So new batsman in and he didn't come around to play. Why these batsmen love to swing across the line? I guess there's no value for shots elsewhere so <laughs> guess that's what they do. So at the break they are at 35 for 3 after 9. So after the break we started off back with spin. This one was flighted so much you could go to the stars and back. We also had a change in keeper as Green was tired, but how did you make that miss, Dredd? And look, hey, Dredd seems as if he's a football keeper. Prittle continued to bowl a decent line, and how did that miss both the stumps and the keeper? They needed runs, and I guess that's why they tried to make this suicide run. <laughs> but Goodlick was never missing another one. That was a good hit and another one bites the dust. This one was flighted high again but it was met by the batsman this time. And this seems as if it is their first boundary of the map. This was almost a chance but it was just a little bit wide of the fielder. Prittle was definitely hunting wickets and he was so disappointed when this one fell safe. Seem as if luck was on the batsman's side as all these lofted shots falling safe. But Avin wouldn't let that stop him as this one was dropped in front. Plum. So new batsman in and immediately there was a shout for out but umpire said nothing doing. Mm -hmm. That was a lovely looking cut shot. They're really pushing for singles now. Ramon came back into the attack and <laughs> immediately they dropped a catch for him. What the hell does he have in his hair? Is it a feather? Shane was into the attack as well with that towering run up. Ooh, what a cut shot. That should have been four, but our field is worthless. So Mr. Featherman continued. <laughs> He gave this one so much flight and the batsman couldn't time it properly and he was caught. Batsman showing what he should have done. Ramon here again trying to set up the batsman but this one fell safe in the gap. This batsman looks timid and from his actions you can see. I told you he wasn't seeing it. <laughs> I don't think Shane saw it as well as he tumbled over. <laughs> It seemed as if this delivery from Shane had some extra steam. That was a lovely slower ball. Batsman swung way before time. 
Chase came back for his second spell and almost hit the wickets immediately. He slowed this one down and hit the top of half. That's all he needed. Can we wrap up the match and bowl out the two remaining wickets? Ooh, missed the line there. And how did you miss, bro? <laughs> this one was whacked. Thought it was out, but Ramon dropped it, Mr. Featherman. So their inning ended 89 for 8 after their 20 over. So opening the batting for us was Mark Pinnock and Pritu. Mark facing first. This one was played over the bowler's head. First ball to Pritu. Gets off the mark. Ooh, this one seems close and the bowler is begging. And the umpire gives him. Damn. So from the other end, this bowler was bowling some beautiful out swingers. This one was a little bit straight. Was flicked over for some singles. First ball to Avi. And it was a golden duck. Damn. So in that four is Chirbrian Goodlet. Goodlet, why are you taking so long, bro? Listen to the beep on my watch before the delivery. And the A golden duck for you, boy. Can't believe it. Block it, my good. Why did you sign your bat, bro? <laughs> Can't believe I edged this off volley. Seems as if I'm cursed, man. So in at five was Shane Ennis and boy, put your bat in front of your pad. This one was slapped by Shane. First saying no, but then saying yes. So Prittle facing the hat trick ball and he survives. But not too long as <laughs> couldn't stop himself from fishing. And they got another one. Not a good look for Bikaska as Uman comes in. He leaves that one. Ooh, they're threatening, they're threatening. Shane, on the other hand, trying to rotate the strike. We definitely need a partnership. Uman getting into the act as well. Hey, going down, going down. Watch the keeper. Shane, watch yourself, boy. Ooh, don't fall like us, Shane. Stay. Leave them alone, Umang. <laughs> All right. What? Hey, 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 hey. Don't give away by a run out. That bowler run up is very funny. This one is also funny. <laughs> but they're bowling well, though. <sighs> Swinging hard, but not going too far. And why did, what, what did Umang do right there? After holding out so long just to paddle that into the fielder's hand. Well, Captain Mark Richards, he comes in and was going hard from ball one. Shane doing the same as well. And that was a lovely shot. Will this be the first four of our inning? Yes, it is. Oh, take the singles, we need them. So at the break, we were 43 for 5 after 10. So after the break, Mark started and he was cutting hard, getting that vital single. Hey, Shane, I said, put the bat in front of the pad. All right. Run it, boy, run it. Don't stand on your bats. Ooh, that one kept very low. Yes, Shane, we need that. We need that. Good boundary. <laughs> this partnership was going good and the batsmen were doing what is needed to be done. That's a lovely shot straight. That's what I always encourage. Straight down the ground for four. <laughs> this bowler always trying this madness. He did get Ramon out the last time. Hey, Mark, play better. Ooh, that's a loose one. No ball, and he got punished for four. Well needed boundary. Couldn't make the most out of the no ball, but at least we get a single. 
Ooh, wait on it. That was a good slower ball by the bowler, but the batsman picked it. They hit it for four. <laughs> I always like seeing this bowler's run up. Shane put his back into that one. Didn't get a good connection though, but at least he will still get some singles. And with that too, brings up his 50. Well deserved. So the match was close to being wrapped up and well done by these two batsmen as we didn't start well, but I wasn't nervous. I know they'll do it. And we ended up winning by five wickets a thing with a couple balls to spear. Yes, we won by five wickets. So thank you for tuning in again. And just remember to subscribe, subscribe, and see you guys next week for more.